Yo, we're back with some more Pottery Route. Last time, uh, we had our first day of club, which uh, we then decided that Aoi will be the pilot, even though Habane wants to, but obviously she can't because there's pedals in her glider, and Adaha just wants to build it. So yeah, we're probably gonna start to at least study how to become a pilot. And we also have a new character, Hibari, who is Habane's... Gotta stop saying Habane. <laughs> um, Koteri's, uh... Bid sister, who's come to, you know, help her out and stuff. So yeah. Should be interesting. Learn more about, uh, Hibari, I guess. Hopefully. <laughs> Let's just get started. Yeah. Oh wait, is she just gonna leave? Oh, maybe. Never mind. Maybe <laughs> you won't get more hibbery. <laughs> yes? Sure, leave it to me. I thought I sounded a little arrogant, but I answered as the door mother and as Koturi's friend. Worried about her sister until the end, Hibri san got in the car and left. Today was Monday, a start of a new week. It looked like she was going straight to work. She came her she came here in her own car, and apparently her workplace and her house were about an hour away. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> choking on my own words. Okay, I thought she would live farther than here, but if she's only an hour away, then that's pretty good. Maybe we'll get more Hibri. <laughs> Two nights. We time slipped today. Isn't she a kind sister? It seems she would like to be more independent from her older sister. Okay then, shall we go to school now? <laughs> the vague teaching statements. I was restless throughout the whole sixth class of the day. When this finishes, school will end for the day. In other words, it will be time for club activities, yay. Enjoying club activities in both novels. <laughs> Yesterday was Sunday, so we had a break from the club. I was told that my piloting training will start today, so I couldn't help but interestly look forward to it. Okay, so we will start pilot training. The teacher's leisurely way of speaking made me feel even more impatient. While I was staring at the clock under the classroom wall, I was waiting for this very moment. It rained, the bell rang. Damn. <laughs> I was really excited for this. The teacher repeated the last bit of information, then the class president finally told us to stand and bow. Goodbye, Sensei. When I went out to the hallway, Kulturi was already standing by outside, since her seat is near the door. What could I do? My seat is next to the window. Uh, hold on, Adraha is not here yet. We peeped into the classroom. Adraha was surrounded by several girls, talking with them about something. Apparently, they didn't understand something from the last lesson, and they asked her about about it. They made a big deal about grades at the school. If you fail any subjects, it's possible that you'd have to repeat the year. It's not like Ardha's grades were anything special, but in certain specialized subjects, she was usually near the top of the rankings. That's why her friends were going to her for help just before the end of the term exams. Hey, Ardha! I got a wave through a gap in the wall of her of girls surrounding her. She said it would take just a little longer. But she asked us to wait for her. Oh, she. Wait, do I have the diet up? 
Well, this is the poultry route, so we can screw Idaho. <laughs> that this sounds like a route decision, a route decision. Oh yeah, you have to go ahead with poultry. Wow, every other route you uh <laughs> wait for Idaho apparently. Sorry, Idaho. Let's wait a little longer. I'll just hang up. Wait, what? The best around one. Wait, I'm dumb. Uh oh. Wait, are you serious? Whoops. My bad. <laughs> Press around one. <laughs> Wait, am I dumb? I thought it was a bottom. Sorry. Intense flicking about to happen. Oh, uh, they're just stripped, right? What? I, I swear I pressed the bottom one, but apparently I pressed the top one. I just will go ahead. Ah! Wait! Am I high? I, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm so confused. This is the quality you've come here. I see. Come here to see. I'm gonna save, just in case. What if it's like budge or something? Go ahead with Kokiri. Let's wait a little longer. I'll just hang out for now. Why? Oh, okay, never mind. I just didn't read it right. Ugh. Sorry about that. <laughs> I couldn't do anything about that, so I gave Adaha a quick shout before chasing after Kotori. We could wait for her a little, couldn't we? Are you really that against going with Adaha? I unintentionally asked in an anxious voice. I got the feeling that Kotri always had trouble figuring out how to act around Agaha. You know, you're the very picture of, uh, of at home an elephant. Wait, at home an elephant abroad a cat. Never heard of that phrase. Yeah, yeah. That made sense, obviously. She was putting up a front, but was actually shy. That was probably the part of the reason why she didn't fit into the class after coming to the school. That's not what I'm saying. Stop crying. Really? That's good. I don't, I don't. I made her mad. Kotri stopped moving her wheelchair. Was she tired? Want me to push you? Kotri shook her head. Huh? Why do you think that? <laughs> At least she ha realizes this. If she knows she has a bad attitude, why won't she fix it? <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> no, she doesn't. I declared this for starters. I've known her for a long time, so I know 
that much about her. She's so distrustful. Kodori put her hand on her chin and started thinking. Well, for example, if she tells us to wait a moment before going to her club, then how about actually waiting for her? <laughs> That's only because I caught up to her. Should we go back to the classroom? She really did sound embarrassed as she said this, then she moved her wheelchair forward. Sure, I was worried about the delicate situation between the two of them, but there's no need to rush. Things like this take time. True. Friendship is something that grows slowly. If there's anything I can do to help, then I will. How are we going to do the flight training? I asked Omne Senpai once all of the second years had gathered. Senpai had been tampering with a bundle of Tango PC cables for a while. We could only see the top of her head from the other side of the desk. <laughs> Flying? I guess it won't be anything like doing weight training to build basic physical strength, but... But we still can't fly, can we? She can't be thinking of flying using those broken wings. As requested, we tidied up things piled against the garage wall. Many strange boxes and antique parts had had been left here before Omni Senpai and us came to this garage. <laughs> the sword and spear. Nunchaku. There's a broken toy gun too. Of course the sword and spear were just well made replicas. I hope. As for the other things, if I had bought them, then after returning home I would think, why the hell did I buy this? and would definitely regret the purchase. There were many things that looked like typical souvenirs from a field trip. I could easily tell that the members from the long ago were using this garage as their own private place. When the lights were turned off, the inside of the garage became pitch black. Omni Senpai was operating some kind of machine. Ooh. A screen was then projected on the wall where all that stuff was piled up before. Are we going to watch an instructional video? I sat in the chair that Omni Senpai had prepared and she gave me a computer game controller. What are we going to do? Flight simulator. That's probably different from, you know, the flight simulator where you're just flying uh, commercial airlines. <laughs> flight simulator. I've heard of those, but I don't know how they work exactly. I guess this is a way to train. Didn't actually think of this for some reason. よくわかんないけど、なんだかすごそうね。市販のやつですかいや、自分で作ったの。おい。で、風が裏に地形と我々のグライダーに特化。もう、ね。で、風が裏に地形と我々のグライダーに特化。メイドヘルセル。おう。
The display of Amune Senpai's amazing work has raised my fighting spirit. We <laughs> a glider modeled in CG appeared on the screen. That actually looks CG. The longitude axis that ran along the length of the fuselage and the movement based on rotation of on that axis were displayed on the screen. This movement is called rolling. This time, the lateral axis that went along the fuselage horizontally and the movement based on rotation on this axis was shown. The movement raises and lowers the nose and is known as pitching. Right. And now the vertical axis that went through the center of the fuselage perpendicularly and the movement based on rotation on this axis were displayed. This mo movement that turns the nose left and right is yawing. Pretty basic, yeah. Yeah, more or less. I see, so the basics are quite simple. Kotri and Adaha were listening to that conversation and nodding along. After Omni Senpai chose a new mode, the screen changed again. The sky and the horizon were projected across the whole wall. The glider was already in flight, but because I was used to video games, it felt incredibly slow. It didn't really feel like it was moving forward at all. I've seen the cockpit many times, so I knew about these. Ooh, there we go. The control stick is the stick that comes out on from the floor between the pilot's feet. I've seen movies with pilots flying fighter planes. They were holding the control sticks. True. It had a button and pressing it launched missiles. Of course the glider doesn't have anything like that. It's like the steering wheel of a car. There's a rudder pedal on both the left and the right side. They can be operated by stepping on them with your feet. I tried the analog stick and the L and R buttons on the gamepad. With a small delay, the field of vision on the screen abruptly moved. Whoa. Uh, okay. これはさっき説明した3つのうち2つ。ローリングとピッチングを操作できる。左右に倒せばその方向に機体がロールする。I lean the control stick slowly to the left. The aircraft responded with a small delay. The horizon on the screen leaned to the right. 操縦艦を倒すとどうして機体が傾くの? When Kotri heard that unfamiliar word, a question mark appeared above her head. Yeah. You see those on real, on commercial planes too. Turning by leaning, huh? It's similar to a bicycle. A bicycle has a handlebar, but that doesn't mean you turn by moving it left and right, you turn by tilting the frame. Pitching 
That's the up and down thing, right? Yeah. I tried pushing that control stick forward. Oh. The image moved and the amount of ground visible on the screen had increased. The aircraft pointed downwards and I got the impression that it was flying faster. Maybe I should make this like a thumb <coughs> thumbnail potential right here. I see. The image of it slipping down on the air. This time I tried pulling the control stick back. The image moved, now displaying nothing but the sky. I could see the hori I couldn't see the horizon anymore. I felt that it was still flying, but I noticed the speed was decreasing. When Kotri is playing around with the wings of the paper airplane, she made one do a beautiful loop the loop. Omne Senpai nodded with approbation. Maybe this is smart thumbnail. -y. Boom. This time it was a familiar word. However, this was different than an elevator that goes up and down in buildings. In other words, the aircraft looked line. <laughs> we crash. The glider can't fall, can't fly without lift, so it'll inevitably fall from the sky. Okay. Hearing about the possibility of falling from the sky made me tense up a bit. When you're flying through the air, even a trivial mistake can be fatal. Huh? Omni pulled the analog stick back hard. The nose rapidly moved upwards and then... Ah. Oh my god. Suddenly the gentle flight of the aircraft came to a halt and instantly started hustling towards the ground while the image was spinning like crazy. Came over. <laughs> if someone is afraid of heights, that really might be the case. Because the simulator was made really well, even the image alone had a powerful impact. Omni Senpai selected the mode and we started flying once again. In the simulator, they were controlled with the L and R buttons. Turns the whole body, not just the wings, I guess. What it means. Yeah. I could show it with my hands, but there's no point. <laughs> Omni Senpai nodded. Like the handlebars on a bicycle? Mm. 
Oops. While leaning, while leaning the bike, you turn the handlebars in that direction, otherwise you won't be able to turn though. Using bicycles as an example, leaning the bike left and right is like the aliens and the handlebars like the right. I need to uh, stop recording for a sec, but I mean it won't look like anything to you, but so for a small prep. See you soon. Okay, we're back. Don't worry, nothing too important. ヘルロンとラダ両方が必要と。そうだ。けどそれだけじゃまだ不十分だ。展開中、期待を傾けると容力が減るので、期待が大きく降下してしまう。なるべくコードを保ったまま展開するには、操縦桿を横に倒し、
Our dog got watermelon flavored ice cream on a stick, Kotri got chocolate chip in a cup, and I chose vanilla ice cream wafers. I prefer them in a cup too. Seems like everyone had their own preference when it came to ice cream. Hmm? I, still get, I still didn't get the hang of it. It was pretty tricky. How should I call it? Inconvenient handling? When I want to do something, I can't do it right away. It would probably be easier to handle if I could feel its movement and speed. Exactly. Those controls those control the position of the aircraft by transmitting the force of the wind to the fuselage. Naturally, when the wind is strong, small movements of the controls can have a big effect and vice versa. However, gliders don't have an engine. You can't easily speed up or slow down. If you do one thing, it affects everything else. I guess that's what it what makes it difficult. Understanding the present situation is not enough. You have to think about what will happen next and act accordingly. It means that this vehicle requires quite a bit of experience after all. Well, to be honest, the simulator didn't feel that good at all. You were watching the screen, right? Yeah, that's true. Well, probably. I think so too. I can imagine that somehow. How it would feel to really soar through the sky in it. Only vaguely, though. It was possible to, to control everything with your hands. Looks like she decided to be patient for now. Agaha and I exchanged last glances spontaneously. Yeah. As soon as I'll be able to fly myself, I could give Kotori a ride. I might be a little hasty, but having an objective will make me try harder. Agra tossed the stick of her finished ice cream into the trash can. I finished eating too, and I also got rid of the wrapper from my ice cream sandwich. <laughs> Kotri was still eating. She was hurriedly shoveling her chocolate chip ice cream. It wasn't as bad as Omni Senpai, but her way of eating also slightly spoiled her pretty girl image. She rushed over in her wheelchair and threw the cup into the trash can. Does she still think that if she didn't hurry, we would have left her behind? While I was away from Kotri, Agaha had come up beside me. What do you mean? I wonder, did I really? Looking at me as I feigned ignorance, Agaha smiled cheerfully. You didn't need to rush like that. Yeah, see ya. We saw Adaha off as she waved goodbye. I pushed Kotri's wheelchair along the road back to the dormitory. Chapter break. There we go. That was an episode. A lot of information. Actual technical information and gliders. I mean, it's good to know, I guess. I don't plan on ever flying a glider, but... But yeah, I guess it's interesting. We'll see. Next time we'll see what Kotri is surprised about. Anyways, thanks for watching as always, and I'll see you next week, I guess. Bye.